seriously, what is wrong with them? <laughs> oh, if Junior Jam is in there, he clipped that. He got it. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. So anyway, we're going to this next match here. Boom, boom, break back. Okay. Here we are. So nice. Phase actually starting it off in shield form. Getting that attack really early, but it doesn't last very long. I think. It lasts longer depending on what move you get out of shield form. Uh, I'm still very unknowledged in my uh, age slash knowledge. I'm hearing a little bit with that hate wire. Can we go into a full combo though? Let's see. Oh, it does not extend it. I think he was done. He does get a recognition from him. Hmm, that was interesting. I think that might have been tried to a short JY, but it didn't quite work out. He's like trying to get out of the corner. Not able to get out though. And so I'm just, I'm working out. He was just fading out often and just doing a really nice job. Back to screening distance and gain some momentum back with Dragonite and a crit flash cannon. I'm trying to get this sidewise. Ooh, we're able to break with the homie attack right there. Get her enhanced state. It's gonna be a lot more damage on the board. Oh, nice K shield into the KO right there. He's like taking the first round against the Sidroy. See if Moo can. Which, in general, to be a, uh, uh, in theory, is a pretty good uh, support against H Slash because H uh, Slash's inability to jump and really avoid it when uh, in Shield form, at least at the start. But if timed correctly, H Slash can actually iframe through all of the Volga. That's something to uh, be wary of, is that it's not always as free as you might think it is. Ooh, nice King Slash here into the combo and Shadow Sneak Ender. And a nice attack about going into this field phase. Oh, nice grab right there. Recognizing the King Shield. Oh, but Burst coming out from Paper Sack. Which I think trying to get into the, her uh, shield form with that Iron Head. That's probably the, I think that is the quickest way to get into shield form is to do the Iron Head cancel. Ooh, burst coming out, sword form, and able to clip the situation right there. Ooh, he's taking quite a bit of damage, and probably missing away the rest of his burst. He's gonna have any time left to do it. He's gonna do it right when he gets up. The thing is, with the situation though, that is still some shit damage confirmed right there. Oh, actually, he's like able to avoid it from being far enough away. Like just trying to keep her advantage going. Waiting for Ogden's inner shield stance, but ooh, Fumu move around the back wide. Ooh, here's a crit up and oh not much of a punish though. There's like really just going back and forth on her form. Uh, this is a tight situation. And there's a crit grab, uh, this Enough? Yep, that's it. That's enough to uh, take that time out right there. Both these players just taking the time, being very patient. Uh, Paper Sack really pushing forms a whole lot, trying to get the best out of both worlds. Both forms definitely have their advantages, but I think overall, Switch Form is more useful. But then again, um, Shield Form is, um, also has so many benefits that just can't be ignored. I went for the uh, just frame right there. I think she did get the just frame. Here we go. Boom, we just make good use of this JY. This is just JY can just absolutely nuts. It, it's probably one of the best things you can get. Oh, Fumu dodging through the counter and able to punish. That was really, really nice. Um. Knowledge right there going up. So that's an ender right there for um, Paper Sack. She didn't quite go for damage. What she did do is um, get herself into shield form and back into sword form by the time the moves back up. Here comes full combo. Oh, the Fury Cutter not able to connect though. Is it, right? it is right there. 
Yeah, this, uh, Aegis Ash has grabbed us 120 damage. She also had the attack buff as well. Yeah, that was that was some that was some damage. That was some damage for sure. That's as powerful as um as Mewtwo's grab and um, I can't count. Yeah, it's, I know it's as powerful as Mewtwo's grab, which is pretty pretty nuts. We all know how we feel about Mewtwo's grab. <laughs> Okay, so Fumu's snagging that with the forward Y. Ooh, damage coming out onto the play. From Paper Sack. Nice combo ending it with a Fury Cutter. Nice, nice stuff. Uh, that attack is up right now. She is going to have to go ahead and go for it. Nice counter. Fumu not able to escape that time. That's what I was talking about right there. You can actually dash to Emolga. That's how much. That's how many frames um, H such has on that dash. Oh, nice there. Nice grab. Nice grab. Um, that does have end lag by the time um, this is right. Does come. Oh, no, this is right. H such does come out, so you can properly punish H time right. Nice four dash boost as well going through the four X. Nice stuff from both players, honestly. Ooh, that was some nice stuff there from Paper Sack. Going through the situation counter. Oh, uh, Paper Sack not taking that acrobatics right there. Going into her own burst. Fumu activating first right there. And, okay, not quite. And goes into shield form to activate the shield burst and it's the laser right there. I don't think we was quite expecting that. And did have to take the laser. That is um, a very sneaky thing that you can do as uh quickly change the shield form. Use the laser version of the burst to attack the uh, distance. Quite expecting that. Respecting the shadows, but you can't dash through it. Has special properties. Ooh, it was nice. Vulnerable frames. You don't get it now. Oh, okay, so who is actually able to count through the five Y Y X? Thinking is about um, H on six X. That it actually will not follow up into the um, second hit if you um, don't actually do damage. Uh, first one. So with that poke there, we actually we are very, very vulnerable. So you cannot do all. Uh, nice use of her counter attacks right there. Really stuff able to get that down back on her favor. He does have quite the advantage right now, and with his gear shackle pressure going on, hard for a to get back in. Nice tech guard right there. That is so fast. Uh, um, two I right there. So so little end lag on it, and they'll forget get that kick grab so quickly. Hard to react to. Oh, sorry. Gets a D for Vendetta right there. Who's got the charge going? What's it gonna be? Why probably? Yep, there it is. So now both players going into their burst. Looks like going, trying to get into shift or get the attack up, but oh, okay, so Flora is actually going straight through Emolga, so I guess it has a chance that this is up probably. Oh, the laser burst right there doing some nice chip. Oh, clashing the 8Y and the Swarming Chance as I should say. I would imagine the 8Y would have won to have the counter. She's like playing a, her distance game right now. Ooh, that's some nice damage with the 4X right there. She's making good use of that. That's a really powerful tool. Ooh, okay, that's some nice damage. Ooh, might still be putting this. He's not in a really tight situation for Perry Sack. Oh, this is close. 
Oh, friends went clashing. Oh, oh this is scary. Okay, both players playing very respectful. And there's the King Shield combo right there. Paper Sack taking it over Fumi with her Aegis Slash. Nice stuff. That was a really cool set to watch. Both players just working around their each other's options. It really, really nicely. That was kind. Of, that was really, really. That was really, really neat.